Hi, Charlie here back with you again. Today we're going to talk about uh, creating a standard G code with a Triquetra toolbox. So let's just get right into it. First we'll open up the toolbox and yeah, click get started. Okay, to create a standard G code, you're going to have several options. So just start out by clicking the standard G code button. And right here, this uh, represents your material that you're going to be carving on and zeroing to. Uh, right here is uh, my crude drawing of a touch plate mounted there or mounted over here. You have uh, these three buttons. You've got left, center, and right. If you're going to put your touch plate on the corner over here and this is where you want to set your zero at, you'll click the left button. If you prefer to zero on the right side over here, you just click the right button. Uh, some, t some people like to set their, their uh, XY zero in the center of their project. And if you want to do that, you click there. This can come in useful if you've got a blank that's already a circle. Uh, there won't be a good corner to zero to. And I'll make a video later on, uh, actually on the machine, that shows you how to do this. But uh, you can actually start out with a round disc and still zero to the center of it. But for now, let's just start with doing the standard zeroing for the left corner. So you just click on the left button. Okay, on this page, you've normally already got your measurements put in. But uh, let's just say you need to make an adjustment, which obviously we need to right here. So all we have to really do is make sure we're in inch units or millimeters if you want to use millimeters. Uh, anyway, I'll be in inches. So I'm just going to say my touch plate uh, X width is 2.015. The Y width is 2.020. The Z axis thickness is 0.8 uh, inches. I want to use a feed rate of 3 inches per minute. And I'm going to use a 0.25 inch bit. And I want to save my file name as a quarter inch bit. So I'll put one uh, underscore, if I can find it on my keyboard, there it is, underscore four. So now I've got a one fourth inch zeroing G code. If we need to update our measurements, and we get a pop up box there that said it was successful. Now then we can generate. A, uh, a three axis code or just generate Z only code. In this case we're going to do a three axis code so we just click on this button and it tells us that the code is being created, created and it's in the C G code folder on your hard drive. Just click OK and you're done. All you have to do now is load up your favorite uh, post processing program that sends your G code to your machine and load that file and run it. Uh, that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you want to do just the Z only code, uh, doesn't matter what the bit diameter is, so that's irrelevant when you're doing just the Z. But you can go over here and just type in uh, Z only Z only zeroing G code. Click on the button to create it, and bingo, there it is. Now you just load that file up and you're ready to go.